हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टूडे विल बी डूइंग दी वर्क बुक सोल्यूशन फॉर एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज फॉर स्टैंडर्ड फाइव चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विद वाटर बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोज सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद दी एम सी क्यूज फर्स्ट वन वट हैपन्स वैन फर्स्ट वैन अ रोल्ड आउट पूरी इज पुट इन हॉट ऑयल इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी द पूरी सिंक्स second what happens when a pin is put in a bucket full of water it's option number c it sinks in the water third which of the following substances floats on water it's option number d ice fourth which of the following liquids mixes with water it's option number a milk fifth which of the following substances dissolves in water it's option number b sugar sixth Which of the following substances does not dissolve in water? It's option number C, chalk. Seventh, what will you do to dissolve sugar quickly in water? It's option number D. We will heat the water and stir it with a spoon. Now we'll continue with question number two. That is, fill in the blanks. First one, a lemon sinks in plain water but floats on salty water. Second, when an egg is placed in a bucket full of water, it sinks. Third. salt dissolves in water fourth to make lemonade a mixture of lemon juice sugar and water has to be made fifth substances that dissolve in water are known as soluble substances sixth out of chalk sand and sugar sugar dissolves in water seventh on heating water it turns into vapor now we'll continue with question number 3 that is true or false first one Puris are fried in hot water it is false second chalk dissolves in water it is false third lemon juice mixes with water it is true fourth sand settles down at the bottom of water it is true fifth oil mixes with water it is false sixth a large piece of wood floats on water it is true seventh when a brick is put in a utensil filled with water it floats it is false eight the process of evaporation is used to obtain salt from sea water it is true now we'll continue with question number 4 that is match the following first one sugar its option number 4 dissolves in water second coconut oil its option number 1 floats on water third sand its option number 5 settles down in water fourth marble it's option number 2 sinks immediately in water now we'll continue with question number 5 that is answer the following questions in one or two sentences first one what happens when a ball of puri dough is put in a bowl full of water when a ball of puri dough is put in a bowl full of water it sinks second what was observed when the soap cake and the soap case fell from sage's hand into the bucket full of water when the soap cake and the soap case fell from sage's hand into the bucket full of water the soap cake sank into the water but the soap case floated on it third one salt dissolves in water what is salt known as salt dissolves in water salt known as a soluble substance here that is a solute fourth question give examples of five things that float on water so plastic wood cork indigo powder thermocol etc float on water fifth give examples of five things that sink in water so stone glass brick iron needle i mean the iron needle soap cake etc sink in water Sixth one, approximately how much salt is dissolved in one liter of the Dead Sea? Approximately three hundred grams salt is dissolved in one liter water of the Dead Sea. Seventh one, what is evaporation? The process in which a liquid turns into its gaseous form is known as evaporation. Eighth, which type of substances seen in water can be separated with a filter? substances that have not dissolved in water can be separated with a filter ninth what things do you put in water to make tea which of those things dissolves in water we put milk sugar and tea leaves in water to make tea 
milk and sugar dissolves in the water tenth one at your house what things are made by drying in the sun things like papad vadio sare vada potato wafers wheat sieve sabudana chakri etc are made by drying them in the sun now we'll continue with question number 6 that is answer the following questions first one on the basis of which qualities are substances classified substances are classified into various groups on the basis of qualities like appearance solidity soluble or insoluble floating or sinking in water and transparency second even if a person does not know how to swim he or she does not drown in the dead sea why there is about 300 g of salt in every 1 liter of water of the dead sea since this water is extremely salty it is heavy due to the heaviness of water even if a person does not know how to swim he or she does not drown in the dead sea but floats on it third one could you see the salt after it dissolved in water if no why no one cannot see the salt after it dissolves in water this is because salt solution is colorless since salt is white in color salt dissolves completely in water and disappears fourth one state some methods of dissolving sugar quickly in water add sugar to the water and stir it continuously with a spoon add sugar to the water and heat it grind the sugar into a powder form and then add it to the water fifth one what difference did you see in the water with salt and the water with chalk powder after keeping for some time the salt has completely dissolved in the water so, uh, salt solution so no salt is seen in the water whereas the chalk powder does not dissolve so it settles down at the bottom of the glass so it can be seen clearly now we'll continue with question number 7 that is answer as asked first one You have washed your handkerchief and you want to dry it quickly. What will you do? I will squeeze out all the extra water from the handkerchief and leave to dry in the sun. I will dry the handkerchief in a place that is airy or windy. I will switch on the fan and hold the hanky in front of it. Second question, you have been given some lumps of sugar that is mishri pieces. Suggest some ways to uh, dissolve them. quickly stirring continuously with a spoon after adding the lumps will will dissolve them quickly the lumps will dissolve quickly if the water is heated breaking the lumps into small pieces then adding them in water and stirring continuously with a spoon will also dissolve them quickly now we'll continue with question number 8 that is classify as required first classification is substances that Uh, dissolve in water and substances that do not dissolve in water so the substances that dissolve in water are sugar rock candy salt lemon juice milk and honey and substances that do, do, uh, do not dissolve in water are glass oil wood iron pen and plastic now the second classification that is substances that float on water and substances that sink in water so the substances that float on water are wood plastic soap case indigo powder kerosene and pencil and substances that sink in water are iron iron nail stone sand brick and needle now we'll continue with the activities so the activity is check whether the given solid substances dissolve in water or not so the given substances are sugar sand salt chalk powder and sawdust and things required are five transparent glass beakers water and spoon and the method is take five transparent glass beakers fill about 2/3 of each beaker with water add 1 teaspoon of sugar in the first beaker and 1 teaspoon sand in the second add 1 teaspoon each of salt chalk powder and sawdust in the third the fourth and the fifth beakers respectively stir each mixture with the spoon wait for some time observe what happens to the substances mixed in the water now the observations is sugar and salt dissolve completely in water 
sand chalk powder and sawdust do not dissolve in water and the conclusion is sugar and salt dissolve completely in water whereas sand chalk powder and sawdust do not dissolve in water now the hot questions are that is the mcqs first one which couple of substances is soluble in water it's option number b sugar and salt second which of the following groups of things float on water it's option number c thermocol plastic and kerosene third which liquid mixes well with water it's option number d vinegar fourth of which set of items is mixture of tea made it's option number a milk sugar and tea and here we come to the end of chapter number 7 that is experiments with water i hope you have understood the complete experiment if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you